All right, we've got two more videos tonight, and before we talk about the playoffs, let's talk about some of these other big time bowl games. Talk about the other New Year's Six bowl games and the ones on New Year's Day. So, um, um, there's also some other bowls like the Holiday Bowl and the Alamo Bowl that are interesting, but they're not warranted um, a video. And I'm not going to watch the Holiday Bowl anyway. Um, the Alamo Bowl, on the other hand, I will be watching Utah versus Texas in the Alamo Bowl. I know the Holiday Bowl is the USC and Iowa. Um, both those are interesting games. This is not. This is not. Those games do not take place on New Year's Day. Therefore, and they don't have anything to do with New Year's Six. So therefore, they are disqualified from being previewed in this video. So, um, but yeah. So on the way we go here, and on December the twenty eighth. The, the the preview, the, well, not the preview, but the appetizer. If you're watching the Campy World Bowl, I don't know why, um, because that's relatively new. The Campy World Bowl is, and it's trash. So it's such a trash bowl game. Like, literally, the Citrus Bowl takes place like three days afterwards. So I'll be talking about the Citrus Bowl, too. Um, but, yeah, the Cotton Bowl Classic inside at and Stadium at noon. Eastern time, the number 17, 12 and 1 Memphis Tigers from the American Athletic Conference, the best team in the group of five this year, taking on the number 10 Penn State Nittany Lions. Man, oh man, oh man. If you think this game is going to be, you know, like, oh well, Memphis is going to get blown out by Penn State or <laughs> Penn State ain't going to be motivated to play this game, I'm sorry, man. This is going to be fantastic. Like it has been for most of these early, you know, most of these pre, well, not preview. I don't know why I keep saying that, but most of these New Year's Six Bowl games that involve a group of five teams have been very, very entertaining. And they are always fun to watch as the appetizer to the playoff games that come on later. Um, and this year is going to be no exception. Memphis is a great team led by Brady White, um, their quarterback. There's no Mike Norbell, sadly. He is gone on to Florida State. But Memphis, they they know what to do. Their defense is a little bit suspect, but then again, not really. Um, you know, Cincinnati uh, gave them fits the last couple of times that they played. And they had to play Cincinnati twice in two weeks, so it was crazy. But Penn State really hasn't done much since, you know, uh, in a while, you know, it, it really, we haven't talked about Penn State in a while here on this channel. Uh, last time we talked about them, they were getting that they were getting clapped by Ohio State, um, and Chase Young especially. Um, but Penn State tended to, you know, I'm sure they wanted the Rose Bowl, but the Cotton Bowl is no slouch. This is a big time bowl game, and they got to be prepared. <laughs> No excuses. There's no excuse of, oh, well, we weren't prepared for this bowl game. And, 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 and all that, all those excuses. You come up, you show up, and you play. And you got you to gotta do it. Sean Clifford and James Franklin, you know, lead the way for Penn State. They got to do They got to do what they need to do. Um, they want to they wanna show up. And they they got to they gotta put up. They got to shut Memphis up. Memphis, this is their... This is their this is their time this year, and you know um, the Americans are gonna show out once again in this bowl game because you know um, really it's been the America that's been the group of five represented high and above the other the other group of five conferences for the past six years that the uh, that the playoff has been implemented. And they have shown it once again this year. Strong showing by this conference this year. Much better than conferences like the ACC. Uh, and maybe the Pac-12, but mostly the ACC sans Clemson. So um, good job to the American. You you sent a worthy, worthy candidate to, you know, to, to, to the Cotton Bowl this year. And good luck. Um, this game, Cotton Bowl is usually supposed to be for, you know, um, 
not for a not for Penn State and not for Memphis. Usually, you know, Texas or Arkansas, somebody would like that would be here. Um, glad to see that the, this bowl game is expanding to you know include new teams and stuff like that. You know, Wisconsin, Western Michigan were down here a couple of years ago, um, and it was great. But um, this time, it's going to be one hell of a show. I can't wait. We'll skip past the playoff games, the Peach and the Fiesta for right now. We'll talk about those in their own separate video on December the 30th, however. Um, get a little treat. Ted and two, number nine in the nation, Florida Gators. And the number 24, who just recently got destroyed in the ACC championship. And the number 24 ranked Virginia Cavaliers. Now, the committee wasn't going to move down Virginia for any reason whatsoever. Um, they were, if they were going to move them not very far, um, Bryce Perkins leads the way for Virginia. Kyle Trask and Dan Mullen lead the way for Florida. Uh, Florida's also a team that we haven't talked about in a while because when, last time we talked about them, they got their second loss to Georgia. So, um, so it's been a month. It's been a month or so since we talked about them. But they have done what they need to do. They're another 10-win team, you know, 10 and 2 on the season. And, you know, this is going to be also a great game. This is also going to be one of those, well, if Florida loses, they didn't show up. And they didn't have all their players. And if, you know, Virginia was like, oh, well, the ACC isn't supposed to be here. You know, bowl tie-ins kind of suck. And I get that Utah is kind of miffed that they aren't here. But, you know, it's the way it is down at, at Miami Stadium. Um in Miami, Florida, you know, it's going to be one heck of a show, another SEC, ACC matchup, and, you know, it's going to be fun. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, but then we get New Year's Day. New Year's Day. New Year's Day. Boy, oh, boy, let's talk about these other two first. Um, obviously talking about nope, – nope, nope, nope. there we go. These two games right here. Both starting at at twelve Central Time, one o'clock um, on you know the the uh, what the, the the East Coast is that what it's called? <laughs> but inside Campy World Stadium in Orlando, Florida, we got the Citrus Bowl, and it is a doozy of a game. Number fourteen Michigan, number thirteen Alabama. Are you excited? Because I'm excited, man. This is going to be Harbaugh versus Saban. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who else is not going to be excited about this game. I believe Jerry Jude is playing this game. I'm not sure about some other guys from Michigan or Alabama, but it doesn't really matter. Both these teams need to show up. If they don't show up, oh boy, boy, oh boy. Uh, Michigan has just quietly, you know, they quietly limped into this game after getting blown out once again by mission by Ohio State. Um, sitting here at nine and three, you know, but it is what it is. Um, of course, <sighs> Alabama lost to Auburn. No Tua Tagovailoa. They've got Mac Jones, though. He's no slouch. I mean, even though he threw two pick sixes against Auburn, he's no slouch for Alabama. Uh, this game is going to be great. Uh, and the other one, the other game <laughs> on tap at the same time, I don't know why people are complaining, but, I mean, this is going to be fun. You can get your get your double TVs ready because Minnesota, the Golden Gophers, who have just absolutely had a magical season, shameful that they didn't, that they didn't close out and win the games they were supposed to win against Iowa at Wisconsin, but it is what it is. They are number 18 in the land, taking on the number 12, 9 and 3, Gus Malzahn led, Bo Nix at quarterback, having Auburn Tigers, who are still coming off the high of beating Alabama. Oh boy, this is going to be a fun one. Inside Raymond James Stadium at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers field. In Tampa, Florida, man, oh man, both these games are going to be fun. I guarantee you they're going to be fun. And if you don't think so, well, then what's wrong with you? What's wrong with them? So, you know, and, 
the Citrus Bowl always is only going to be on ABC, and the Outback Bowl is going to be on ESPN. So, you know, January 1st, always a fun time. You know, forget about the rest of these bowl games that take place after, you know, after January 1st. Just just, uh, just sit back, relax, and enjoy on January 1st. We got two more for you. Two more. The Rose Bowl, first off, at 5 p.m. Eastern. Four o'clock here if you live in the central time zone like I do. Number six, Oregon Ducks, Pac-12 champions. And they just absolutely blasted Utah in the Pac-12 championship down in Santa Clara um, a month ago. Um, and then the number eight team in the, in the country, um, the Wisconsin Badgers, 10-3. and three. You know, they're still kind of myth that they didn't get that that – that, that beautiful Big Ten championship, and they didn't get to go, you know, you know, but they they didn't get to, you know, like maybe sneak into the playoff or something like that. But, you know, Wisconsin, they've got Jack Cohn. They've got Jonathan Taylor. Of course, you know, um, uh, Oregon has Burdell and, and Justin Herbert, a quarterback. So this is going to be one heck of a show. Once again, both these defenses are very good. Uh, and, you know, it's always a treat to see the Rose Bowl every year as the second game before the nightcap, which is the Sugar Bowl, baby. Georgia, number five in the nation. Somehow the committee seemed to perceive them as, like, maybe they were going to be the number four team. But, it, but we all know this is supposed to be a cookie, cut, and dry case. So I don't know what in the world the committee was smoking when they even considered that Georgia could have been the fourth best team in the country and they could have been selected for the playoff. I don't know what they were smoking there. But they are going to take on the number seven team in the nation, a team that has gone through a lot of downs after being up for so long, and that's the Bill Bears, number seven in the nation, 11-2, and two, inside Mercedes-Benz Superdome, in New Orleans, baby, for the Sugar Bowl. At 8.45 p.m. Eastern, that's 7.45 for you clowns, for us central time zone clowns. <laughs> um, but this game is going to be good. I guarantee you it's going to be good. I don't know what in the world is going to happen, considering that I believe Baylor's quarterback, Charlie Brewer, was injured in the Big 12 championship. I don't know what in the world his status is going to be. But um, if it has to come down to um, – I don't even know the quarterback's names for, for Baylor, but if it comes down to Bohannon, I believe Zenon or something like that, you know, it, it should be fun. It should be fine. But at Georgia, they have to come back here and they have to be prepared. After getting absolutely dog stomped, they got destroyed by LSU. Picked the part on defense and Jake Fromm didn't have anywhere to go. DeAndre Swift is injured. I mean, Georgia's got a lot of stuff going on that, that, you know, could be detrimental to them. But in the end, I think this game's going to be interesting. In the end, at at the very least. So, you know, line up those calendars. Get everything ready. Get your popcorn ready. Get your your snacks and stuff ready. Because it's going to be one hell of a show over – those over the course of those couple days um so you know you got all the big time bowl games they're all there for your viewing pleasure get those tvs ready get everything ready you know and just get the view in once you know december 28th december 30th and january 1st hit especially january 1st it's gonna be one heck of a time man but yeah that's gonna do it for this video and we'll be talking about those playoff games (laughs) very, very shortly. Y'all take care.